Kinky Loafer, the healing artist. And today we're going to be doing a little Mary Magdalene painting. <laughs> I just had this idea of bringing some divine feminine energy into the world. And I'll stop in just a second and we'll go into Alpha, which we do every time I do um, a piece of art. As you guys know, Alpha is the most relaxed and most creative brainwave, and it really enhances creativity. Well, and it, it helps me think more clearly because your mind settles, or my mind settles. I don't know what your mind does, but my mind settles, and it makes it so much easier. So it's a very simple process that was taught to me by a college professor, and I've used it ever since. And it's taking three deep breaths and saying down, 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 and then you're in alpha. And we'll go from there. So here we go with the alpha. Three deep breaths. Take a moment just to feel how you feel when your brain is in alpha. Um, it's, it's a smooth feeling to me. It's um, calm and focused. So I'll continue painting. I'm using... Um, Iridescent silver. I'll use iridescent silver and gold on the background. So, one of the colors associated with Mary Magdalene is scarlet. So I'm doing, making her, her shroud that she's wearing on her head, kind of a, a scarlet. actually like it. Might not like it. We'll see. We'll see. This is a very impressionistic painting. It's mainly her essence. I mean, that's, that's what I'm talking about in, um, trying to to get across is her essence as um, the divine feminine, the kindness, the love.
Isn't it amazing how many different stages a little painting goes through? If um, you guys watch the angel feather that I did last week, you'll understand what I'm talking about, or any of my little paintings, or the big paintings for that matter. They go through such weird stages when you're working on them that you think, oh my gosh, this is gonna be horrible. But we'll see, we'll see how it turns out. So I'm really thinking that in this world right now, well, it needs to be all the time, but right now in particular, we all need to kind of stick together, do things for each other, make sure that everybody's okay. Use that divine feminine as caring and loving. Okay, so Mary Magdalene is also associated with daisies, the daisy flower. Um, its meaning is purity, innocence, um, new life, joy. So I'm gonna draw a daisy on her. My little pen's getting some still wet paint on it. Anyway, this is gonna be our daisy when I get finished painting it. And I'm gonna put like on a chain or to make a necklace. It's kind of hard to see. I've got so many um, layers on uh, the painting and I've got something I need to fix. I laid my hand down on this when it was still wet. <laughs> so I have a boo-boo that I'm fixing with some more. Mistakes. Well, I don't know if I should call them a mistake, but accidents or whatever um, happen when you're doing art. And sometimes the accidents are the best part of the creative process. I really feel like it's somebody else coming in and, and using our hands to create the, the accident. Okay, so I'm gonna use a little gold in here for the center of the daisy. 
So as you can see, I've done quite a bit of work on Mary Magdalene since the last time I filmed. And added more layers. She's got daisies that she's kind of holding now. Because they are associated with her because of purity and joy and, and lightness. Give it some little I'm put a little more gold back here, kind of separate her, her face a little more. Well, her non-face, yeah, her non-face. Then we'll add some gold for the center of the daisies. I'm sorry that I'm It's kind of hard for you guys to see, but you can get the indication of it. The Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine. I'll be doing other videos in the next well not maybe not the next one but one of the uh, videos I'll do fairly soon will be the divine masculine so we have um, the balance <laughs> the balance is important it's so easy in this life to get out of balance so we want as much balance as possible. And I'm in Alpha all the way through this process. And I think the next thing we'll do, of course, you know me, I've got to add some sparkles, right? So now I'll do the my normal size sparkles. See, sparkles to me are energy, good energy. Okay, that's it for the for today. That's where we're going to leave it. And you all make your days good days so that you have good days. And enjoy your life. Enjoy your life. It's so important. Enjoy each day. And until we see each other again in about a week, We'll see you later. Bye-bye.